Well guys, Sausage Party is finally here and this is a story created by Evan Goldberg, Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill. It has a humongous voice cast. In a grocery store, these foods are hoping that one day they will be picked up by humans and taken to the great beyond where they will live with humans who they consider to be gods. It is the 4th of July and it's a big sale and they're all hoping that they will get picked and bought and taken home. Well, a few of the foods that live inside this grocery store soon realize that the humans have other agendas for these foods. And it is up to Seth Rogen's character, Frank, who is a sausage, to try to get the rest of the foods in this grocery store to believe that the humans are trying to eat them and murder them. I was really curious to see how this film would be. It is a hard R-rated comedy animated film, which we really don't get. And the trailers seemed a bit stale and kind of over the top and not impactful to me. And I came out of this movie with stuff that will haunt me forever. Sausage Party is definitely one of the most inventive films I have ever seen and one of the films that have taken the weirdest turns I have ever seen in a film to date. This film does not hold back at all and I am surprised it got an R rating when it should be NC-17 because there is no boundaries whatsoever for this film and they utilize that hard R rating to their advantage. There is so many cuss words through here and sometimes it works and sometimes they overuse it. They didn't use the curse words at the right time because they used them so much early on that it lost its impact and really didn't serve a purpose. That the curse words didn't feel impactful or laughable when they used them throughout the rest of the film. What I thought was really cool is that there were so many different foods or different items in this film and each one played the part of what we think about the food, which what I thought was pretty funny. Sometimes they definitely went for some shock value and gag moments, and those were the hilarious scenes. Those scenes were really funny, and they definitely succeeded with that shock value. Now, my main issue with this film is that it has a hiding agenda towards it. And what I mean by that is that I viewed this film as a religious film, surprisingly. It didn't really know what it wanted to be because half of the film was them trying to run away from the humans and not get eaten by them. And then the rest of the film was trying to get people to believe in gods or trying to get people to believe that there are facts that gods really don't exist. And gods, I mean the humans and the foods that think that the humans are gods. And there's a lot of conflict between certain characters that one person believes that these aren't gods and he has the facts. The other person believes that these are gods and I don't want to listen to the facts. And then it turned into a heavy religious film if they wanted it to be a religious film or not. I viewed this as a religious film and it, it, that's what its main focus was on was this religious standpoint between these characters and the humans. And then it lost its steam for what the previous part of the film set up. I still found some of the moments during that to be funny and the end was crazy. It went all out and I don't know. I thought Swiss Army Man was a weird film. This was some of the craziest things I've ever seen in film. So Sasha's Party, I laughed throughout. I did think that the curse words were used a lot in the beginning and lost its impactful moments. I think that their agenda for the film changed a little bit throughout and that's lost its steam and I guess some of my interest. I did think that the end was crazy. The animation was whatever and I think it was their intentions to have a silly animated film. So I'm going to go ahead and give Sausage Party a B. This is Just Watch Movies with his review of Sausage Party. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies for more upcoming reviews. This is Just Watch Movies. And you stay classy too.